This video tutorial is based on PDF uh, a tutorial created by Neil Hersig, uh, which you can download for free using a link in my description. Uh, exactly as Neil says in his tutorial, uh, the castle can be created in so many different ways. Uh, the way he created his castle uh, is you know, in order to show you various uh, modeling techniques. So, in this tutorial, I'm not following the PDF exactly, but I'm doing it uh, kind of my way. All right, so let's get started. Uh, open a Blender and create a new file. Save as and name it Castle. delete the default cube, press X and delete, press 7, go to top view, 5 to orthographic view, press uh, shift A, add mesh plane. I'm not, I'm not making model exactly to scale, so I'm just doing everything roughly. Scale X, and I'll tap to edit mode, select the face selection mode, select the face, and press X only faces edge selection mode select this edge X delete edges and go to vertex selection mode select this one and this one press E to extrude escape scale X and bring them closer together to create the opening for the gate alright now A to deselect A to select all one to the front view, E to extrude and Z, and bring it up to about the height of the walls of your castle. Alright? Now, A to deselect, A to select all, and we're gonna do the control N to recalculate recalcul normals outside in advance because we will need it later on. So, we have done it already. Tap, go out of edit mode, and uh, we're going to give the wall some thickness by using the modifier the solidify modifier bring the thickness up to about I know until you're happy with the thickness of the wall take the even thickness 7 to the top view Z and tap to edit mode alright go back to from edit mode you're happy with that and press apply modifier and now when you go edit mode got vertices you need you're going to adjust the thickness of you see the front and the rear walls are a bit thin so select by B box selection these vertices and press S Y scale along the Y axis and I'll adjust it a little bit all right enter a Z and go to solid view and this we have a walls. We're gonna start by naming the things from the beginning. Walls enter. It's very important to name all your objects in your scene. Go to the front view, Z to the wireframe by wall selected, shift D Z and bring it up. Just about like this. Make sure there is no gap in between and press S Z to scale along the Z axis. We are creating the catwalk now. 7 to go to the top view, tap to edit mode by B box selection, select the out vertices 
now to vertices and press scale and shift Z so we are actually scaling along the uh, Y and X axis scale it up a little bit and now SY scale along the Y axis so we are we want to create some overhang you know of the catwalk seven tap to edit mode Z you see these vertices here and here are not aligned very good it's not very important because they're gonna be hidden actually we'll create the gatehouse but in case you want them you want to align them select both in a top view here and uh, press scale X 0 enter A and B do the same thing on the other, other side scale X 0 enter A to deselect tab alright go to the top view by left click place your cursor somewhere here and press the shift A add mesh cube scale down to about this size as Y scale along the Y axis maybe scale it down a little bit more the whole thing press G to grab and place it into the corner as Y a little bit more like this one to the front view zoom out and bring it up S Z to scale along the Z axis and bring it up a little bit. We are creating corners. Alright, and now Z to go to the solid view and we're gonna be using the modifier again. In this case array modifier. We are using the constant offset. move it to create a gap in between two of them and now change change the count until it will reach the opposite side if you need to change this value you can do it by control and left click and then type the number but you can just click and hold and drag as well I'm by, by holding down shift you can do it by small increments so yeah this is just about good now we'll go to top view 7 Z and press shift D Y to duplicate the same thing on a back on a rear wall press shift D enter R to rotate, 90, enter, press G, and position it into the corner, Z, to go to solid view, change the count, uh, I think that's just good, and again, by holding down shift and left, click and drag, move it. 7 to the top view and Z and shift D X and bring it on the other side good very good Z now we need to apply the modifier to each of them apply and uh, apply now we will join these meshes one. so with the front one selected hold down the shift and right click right click right click select all of them and press ctrl J or you can place the origin to geometry uh, this front thing we will fix later all right now we're going to be creating the towers on to the each of the corners. So 
by using the plane but to position the plane exact in an exact place uh, with the wall selected go to the edit mode and select one hold down the shift another vertex here down and press shift s cursor to select it and now when you go to the top view tap out of edit mode and press shift a mesh plane you see it's right there where we need it scale it down by pressing s go to the front view now you want to start extruding where we need to tap the edit mode zoom in eat extrude just a little bit eat extrude again and hold on uh, control press s to scale and hold uh, hold on the control scale it down eat extrude eat extrude Hold on the scale, hold on the control, scale it up, heat extrude, heat extrude again, scale, hold on the control, scale it down, E extrude. Now we'll need to press heat extrude again, and press escape scale. Extrude, E to extrude, escape scale, scale it down, E to extrude, just about like this, E to extrude again, and one more time, press S to scale, and E to extrude, last time. The base of our tower. Now we will need to create the openings here for the door, and it's quite simple to do that. So tap to edit mode, Z to wireframe. I think the loop selection mode works for me in wireframe, not in the solid view. I don't know why. All right. So by pressing, holding down Control and R, add a loop cut. Scroll your mouse wheel to add the two loop cuts here. A to D select and control R the same from this side. Go to this Z and tap to edit mode and you see we've got these things here for our for our doors. Uh, go to face select mode. Select this face, press E to extrude, X along the X axis, bring it in a little bit and press X delete faces and do exactly the same thing here E to extrude Y bring it back press E X delete faces alright ok that's good we are happy with that but we will see, you see we have some uh, hole empty I mean holes here in the because there is no floor actually inside so you're gonna go to seven, 7 to the top view tap out of edit mode Z and press shift A add mesh plane again scale it down go to the front, front view bring it up to about the height where we need it just like that this plane selected hold down shift and select the, the tower and press control J and we've got the floor on the inside but don't forget we need to name it so with the tower selected go to object buttons and annoying song sound is letting me know that I have to finish for now and I will see you in a part 2